Okay, it records. Right. Okay, so to start off with, you'll only need one of your weights. Okay, so this is our walkthrough, and we're going to do what's called a speed crunch. So your knees are soft. You're going to take the weight above your head and hold it, or your bottle above the head, and then you're going to lift your knee. But you're going to crunch over to the side. So this is called a speed crunch. So we're working our obliques, working the hip. Okay, so you'll do that always on one side. Then when I say switch, we'll go on to the opposite side. So you're looking to take the knee up and you're pressing it out to the side. So you form a C shape, as I call it, over, and you'll feel this through the torso. We'll then go on to an overhead. Again, holding nice and high. You're gonna bring the knee in, press back, knee and press. So you're working on the hip flexor, and working on opening the shoulders up, okay? So those are going to be your first exercises. Still just with one weight, we are going to go on to a forward lunge on the right leg, okay? So you're going to hold one weight up, nice and high by your ear, other hand out at the side, and we're going to lunge forward, come back, lunge forward, come back. So the whole time, you're keeping that arm up and we're working through. So we're working on strength, keeping the core nice and tight, okay? Grab your other weight. We're then gonna go into zombie squat. So zombie squat is where we are looking to sink nice and low. And we're gonna take the cans to shoulder height, press back up again. So if you see, I'm sitting nice and low, Pressing back up again, down and press, okay? We'll then go on to reverse fly, which is that lean forward, slightly soft elbows. We're going to squeeze out and in, out and in. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, okay? Then we go back to forward lunge on the opposite leg. So holding this, arm out, up, lunge and back, lunge, and back, okay? Still with one weight, nice and wide, we're gonna go on to figure eight. So you're sitting down in that low position, and then you're gonna pass your weight through the leg. Now you're not trying to rock from side to side, you're really planted, and you're having to fix, press the knees out and the heels, and you're gonna go through that. So that's your figure eight. We're then gonna grab Next set, and we're going to go on to shoulder press. So both together, up and down. Drawing the shoulder blades down. Okay, so that's our shoulder press. We're then going to look to do a shoulder press with a small jump. So we're going to jump out, walk back in. Jump out, walk back in. So low, jump back in, okay? Then we're going to go on to an upright row. Elbows leading, pulling up, so working on the shoulders and the upper body. We then hit the floor into our dead bugs. So with our weights, pressing out and we're alternating the leg. Nice and long, heel and our heel and our hand hover over the floor. So that's our dead bugs, okay? Next one is our ab crunch. So the weights are gonna be horizontal above you. So they are gonna be in line with your chest. And you're gonna press up and down. Crunch and down. So you're lifting the shoulders off, pressing the hips in, but you're keeping those hands up nice and high, okay? They don't come down. Now from here, we're then gonna go into a chest opener. So you're gonna open out, and back in, chest, and in, and then finally, we're going to sit up, and we're going to go on to Russian twist. So with both of them, you can lift your feet off, or you can plant the heels, and then you are tapping from side to side, okay? And that's all of our exercises. So there's nothing new on that. Everything that we, 
all of the exercises we have done before at some stage, okay? So hopefully you should be able to follow it through. We're working for 40 seconds, transitioning for 10. Do your best to try and follow along and try and take a, a rest during, uh, during the transition, okay? Um, and things, try and work right the way to the bell. And then we're gonna have a 40 second rest in between sets, okay? We have two sets to do, and there are 16 exercises in each um, of our sets, okay? So it's gonna take us about 27 minutes. Right, up on your feet, and you're gonna need just one of your hand weights, but have them, or your cans, or whatever you've got, but have um, one of them close to hand, okay? So I'm just gonna set the timer up. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall and we're gonna work just on one side with our C crunch. Let's go, so side. So you're working through the torso, going nice and tall. Knee lift. Try not to lean forwards or backwards. Onto the toe, squeezing to the side. So remember, we're working for 40. Keep that chin up. Keep the arms long. Okay, just bring the hands down, roll the shoulders. We're going to go on to the other side, okay? So work on both sides. Arms up, let's go. Make sure the knee is coming up to waist height. Squeeze across, working the core, working the obliques. Lift that knee up, keep the shoulders high. You've got this. Work to the bell, up and down. Make sure we're breathing. Squeeze to the side. Okay, so we're gonna go on to our knee lift with a chest open, so going diagonal. Okay, so we're gonna lift, sorry, it's my fault. I've got this wrong. So push back, lift up, open out the chest, onto the toe, press and lift. Touching down. Now remember you can speed things up, you can slow it down. You work as hard as you can. Good technique. Squeeze that knee up. Working the hip flexor. Okay, so changing sides. Just open out those shoulders. Onto the knee. Pull it. Stretch nice and tall. Try not to arch the back. Stay soft. Open out the shoulders. Keep that chin up. Three seconds. Okay, so we're going to go on to our forward lunge. Same leg is lunging, holding that hand up. Lunge, now back, stay leg. Keep that hand long and tall, and drop. Knee down, stay. 
Stay strong. Knee down. Make sure we're trying to get to 90 degrees. Press up. Keep that hand low. Keep this arm out to the side. Core is tight. Think about your quality. Excellent. Okay. Grab your other weight into our zombie squat. Toes forward. Let's go. Pull that chest up, squeeze the hips. Shoulder height. And up. Big press. And lift. Remember, speed it up. You can slow it down. Squeeze through. Press up through the heels. Working those shoulders, working the hips. Okay, so we're leaning forward. We're going into those reverse flies. Soft knees, squeeze the shoulder blades. My elbows are slightly soft. I'm trying not to fly. Don't fling my arms. Control up and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Core nice and tight. Knees are soft. Excellent. Keep it going. So we're squeezing. My back is flat. Okay, lose one of your weights. We're going to lunge on the other side. Okay, so this leg, arm out to the side. Forward lunge, opposite leg. Keep my hands tall. Arm out, shoulder height. Don't let that elbow bend. Excellent job. Pull up through the core. Knees forward. Keep it going. Fight the urge to drop the arm. Excellent. Okay, so figure eight. Still need one. Go nice and wide. Let's sit low. So reach it through. Press through the heel. Drive those knees out. Come on, guys, get into position. Let's get, let's get going. Don't come up. Fight through this. Sink low. Get that bum down. Keep that chin up. Try not to bend forward. Keep it breathing. Nearly there. Nearly there. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. And up we come. Oh, shake those legs out. Grab your weights. Both of them into double shoulder press. Be as tall as you can. Squeeze high. Punch it up to the ceiling. Strong, tuck those hips under. Belly button to chin. Up and down, whenever you can speed things up or you can slow it down. We've got this, guys. Keep it going. Excellent job. Okay, so this time we're going to do our jump shoulder press, okay? So jump it out, walk it back in. Jump, walk it back in. Sink nice and low. So working the hips, working the arms, okay? 
Try and shoot up, walk it back in. Sing low. So these moves will come into play when you go to your weight lifting later on. Press. Sit low. Walk it in. Excellent. Okay. Into our upright row. So leading with those elbows. Soft knees, roll the shoulders back. Up. Keep it close to the body. Don't swing. You are stable. You are strong. Chin lifted. Make sure we're breathing. We're going to hit the floor soon. Work to the bell. Next move is deadlifts. Elbows. Okay, so hit the floor. We're going into those dead bugs. Feet off. Arms up. Let's go. Bring it back to the middle. Nice and stable. So hands above the chest. Press the heel out. Use those weights. Lengthen. Make sure you breathe in. Squeeze that hip flexor. Work that core. Hand hovering, heel hovering. Keep it going. Excellent. Okay, just drop those feet down, step back on the ground. We're going to go into that out crunch. Hands up. And we're pressing up and down. Hands remain long over the chest. So we're crunching up. So you can speed this up. Or you can slow it down. Press up through the shoulders. Work that core. Keep it going. Be long. Press those hips into the ground. Okay, so just bring the weights down. You're going to bring your palms together, lift them over your chest. We're going to go into our chest opener. Nice and wide, pull it back together again. Don't bang the ground, nice and controlled. Feet are flat on the floor, open that chest, squeeze it back together. Control on the way up and on the way down. We've got this team, let's keep it going. Big squeeze all the way to the bell. Okay, rolling up. So, your choice you can either lift the heels or you can have them flat on the ground. Both weights. Let's go. Reaching side to side. My chest is leading, my chin is lifted. Working through, working those obliques. On your seat bones, remember you can lift it up if you want to make it harder. Side to side, my chest is open. Press it, come on, don't give up. Excellent. Okay, round one done. Grab yourselves a quick drink and come back up to your feet. Yes, grab a drink. Okay, 
and make sure we've got a, we've had a drink. Nice deep breath in, round two coming up, okay? So we're going back from the top into that seat crunch, okay? Hands nice and high. Let's go. Press. Big squeeze. Lift. Keep that core nice and tight. Get that knee up. Work the hip. Work the waist. Now, those of you who are only doing two rounds, those of you afterwards, you can drop off the core. And if you want to, at the end, you can do another round. If you're feeling strong enough, if you feel you want to work a bit harder, okay, you can go and do another round of these 16 exercises. Challenge yourself if you want to. Hand up, opposite side. Lift. So drawing the elbow down, keeping that chin up. Squeeze it to the side. And it's only a small move, but it's very effective. Walking all the way to the bell. Okay, so we're going to go back to this knee with our opener. Knee lift, let's go. Open out the chest. Work those shoulders, mountains. You should feel your shoulders are working. Lift that knee. Remember, you can speed up or slow down. Ten seconds. Excellent. Just roll those shoulders. Okay. Work that core. Let's go. Try not to arch the back. Lift the knee. Smooth and strong. Okay, keep it going. Just going to have a quick flick through. Keep it working. Excellent job, guys. Open out that chest. Lift that knee. Fantastic work, guys. Keep it going. All the way through. We're working 40 seconds, remember? Okay, so this leg, hand is high into that forward lunge. Drop it forward. My knee is over my ankle, squeezing up through the hip. Stay nice and long. Excellent, keep that chin lifted and that chest up. Okay, just try and put the foot down. Just get one to help you with your foot. Lift up and back. And grab your other weight. We're going to go into zombie squat. Just try and roll the hip through. Ready into that zombie squat. Press. Squeeze the hip up. Weights the shoulder height. Okay, guys, just keep it going a moment into those zombie squats. Thank you. 
Just try and keep it going, guys. Sorry about that. Small injury. Pull it up. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to go into that reverse fly. So nice and wide on your base. Dropping your arms forward. Push the bum out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Remember, we're not trying to fly. Smooth and controlled. Keep that chin lifted. Give me a big smile. You've got this. Well done. Keep going, my elbows are slightly soft. Squeezing my core. Excellent, got one of my weights. So we're gonna go work on this leg. Just do me this, okay? So see if you can move out to the knee. Arm up, drop, and back. Arm nice and high, forwards and backwards. Five and morning. Keep that hip. Squeeze it back up. Keep that elbow pressed out. Guys, try not to be messaging through this. If there's an issue, come off and ask. Otherwise, we're missing out working, okay? So we're going to sink into that figure eight now, okay? So remember, we're doing two rounds. Sink nice and low and press through. Because guys, if you're messaging, you're not working out. Work through the heels, press the knees out. Keep breathing, don't come up, don't give in. Things will start to feel a little bit sore. When the muscle gets tired, we want to break it down and work it a bit harder. Press up, shake those legs out. Grab your weight again. We're going to go into shoulder press. Let's go up and down. Soft knees. Tuck those hips under. Chin lifted, big squeeze. We're so more than halfway through now. We're getting towards the end of the workout. Strong and long. We've got this five seconds to the bell. To the job, okay? So we've got our squat press, walking it back in, okay? Wait, and press it out, walk it back in. Sink it low, walk it in. Be as long and as strong as you can. Sink nice and low, working right the way through your core, keep it going. Press it out. Let me have a little look. Okay, some really good work going on here. You got this guys, well done. So sinking nice and low, pressing those weights up. Excellent job. Keep it going. Well done, well done. Okay, so we're gonna go and top up right row. Leading with the elbows. Imagine someone's pulling your elbows up first, staying nice and close to the body. Tucked under, press it back down again. Great job. Open out that chest, press through the shoulders. Fantastic. Come on, team, let's go all the way through. Elbows. 
elbows. Make sure we're breathing. Make sure we're long and strong. Okay, let's hit the floor. Into those dead bugs. We've got four more exercises, then we are done. Press through. And weight above the shoulders. Over the chest. Press through. Foot flexed. Work that core. Strong. Hand and foot hovering over the ground. Don't give up. Work all the way to the bell. Excellent job, okay. So we're gonna press these weights up, okay? Holding above the chest, tuck the hips in. Lift and down. Press and down. So remember you can speed this up or slow it down, but your hands stay long above the chest. Squeeze it up, working those shoulders. Squeeze. Chin to ceiling. Make sure we're breathing. Okay, into our chest opener, okay? So hands above, nice and controlled. So we're opening and in. Hands come above the chest. My feet are flat on the floor. Knees are bent. Nice and controlled movements. Open the chest, squeeze it back together again. Big squeeze, together. Make sure we're breathing. Keep it going. Okay. Roll it up, we're on our final exercise, guys. So we've got that Russian twist. You can have the feet on the floor. So on our seat bones, make sure we're twisting from side to side, or we can lift it. Chest is open and my feet are off the ground. Working that core. Work on that balance. Make sure we're breathing. Don't give up. Excellent job, guys. Just turn this down. Okay. Fantastic. Now, guys, if you, some of you, might want to drop off. Um, you might want to go and do another round, okay?